I like to look ugly. Good morning, friends. Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, has returned. I cleared this hotel out of zombies last night, at least the one that was making herself a nuisance. That one right fucking there. But she gone. She gone now. Don't even worry. I want to explore uh, some more businesses and things today. Obviously, it's pretty early in the morning, so these zombies are still wide awake. Out looking for me kind of stuff. But that's all right. They're gonna, they're gonna get what they were looking for. They're gonna get what's coming to them. Mm-hmm. I get some of them French fried taters, beans and mustard. Mm-hmm. Speaking of that, this guy looks kind of like Sling Blade, and basically by that I mean he's balding on the top. He has a strong offset lower jaw. I guess that's different from strong, isn't it? Did we explore this place? Yeah, this is saucy. Saucy! I was headed down this way, and then I realized it was super late. Had to go to Sleepy Sleeps. But now, back to it. Back to it, mon ami. And just beat up some more zombies in the street, because that's how we do things. That's how we do things around here. Oh, also, my... My right thigh has a dirty bandage. Dirty, dirty bandage. And that's looking uh, less red, so I guess it is healing. That's nice. I'll take it. Just gotta keep the wounds clean. I would hate to develop an infection on my poor little leg. It's because I was stupid with a Molotov and burned it. I also have seven Molotovs sitting back in the room, if you missed that part last episode. Well, I'm quite excited to find something to use those on. This is a furniture store. I don't really give a shit about a furniture store. Maybe I will burn you. <laughs> no, probably not, though. I'm not in the business of burning buildings anymore. I'm not in the business of insurance fraud. <laughs> These buildings aren't even insured. And if they were, then whoever insured them is probably dead. Most assuredly. You got a flag hanging on the wall? This building is safe from my wrath. They are patriots. Patriots and saints around here. And, uh, that looks like a kitchen. Mmm, yes. Give me some nummy nums. They have nothing in here. Only thing that's not really rotten is, uh, some mustard. I don't really want no mustard. I'll eat some zucchini. That's fine. It's a little stale, but it's good. It's good. They got eggs, too. Eggs and butter? Ooh, if I find a pan, I can make myself a fried egg. Fried eggy wig. I'm gonna take this soda as well. Root beer, lemon lime, not my favorite. Not my favorite. I'd much rather have a Coke, but uh like I said, these days and times can't be too picky. Just gotta do what you do. Oh, and this links back to the furniture store? Interesting. Got some binoculars, another wooden crate. I've got some planks stashed in my room. Because I haven't really started uh, building around the hotel yet. But I will, maybe, at some point. Perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to... Oh, Jesus. I didn't notice that guy at all. That's... That's... That's a tip for Project Zomboid. If you enter a room, swivel your fucking head all the way around. Don't just assume that you're alone. Because if uh, that Moodle didn't inform me, then I could be pretty screwed right about now. There's some uh, jars and whatnot. Nitric acid. Mmm. If only I could find some glycerin. I could make a big boom. Nitroglycerin bomb! But I don't even know how I'd lure all the zombies. Probably just a gunshot. I mean, that's simple enough, isn't it? Locked? Aww. I wanted to go in there. It looks like there's a lot of cool stuff. Maybe there's an entrance through the back again. Is that possible? Hey, hey, hey. Figure all this out. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and door hinges. Precious, precious door hinges. So now I can make a door, because I got two of them hinges. That's pretty sweet. 
I'm not gonna rebuild this door because fuck it. Because why? There ain't no point to that. Hmm. Lots of a uh, myriad goods here. Some wood glue, saw. I think I picked up another saw. Yeah. So I don't need that necessarily. Hmm. Hammers, carrots, tongs. This is all pretty useless, I think. Box of nails. Well, you could never go wrong with another box of nails, right? Weed whacker. What the fuck? That's how I'd lure all the zombies toward the nitroglycerin bomb. Weed whacker. Oh, this is just like for kids. It's a bunch of toys and stuff. Well, I guess I could take one of these here cat toys. It's a mouse. It counts, you know, as like a... A friend for the action figures and stuff like that. Toy car? We brought a helicopter. We might as well bring a car. Fuck it. Uh, but I'm not bringing more than one. I'm not crazy, okay? Lots of dolls. I don't need that shit. What you need that for? Toy bear. <gasps> Ooh! A bear! It's gonna be so fun when we get back home. Got all kinds of shit set up. I'm gonna be so proud of myself. It's a video game. Oh my god. I'm playing a video game right now. It's like video game Or oh, something like that. Hmm. Not a, a great variety of toys around here. I found like a dinosaur and all this kind of shit. This is all just either doll or bear. Or cat toy. Which, what the fuck? How many cat toys do you think I need? I don't even like cats. Oh, he said he didn't like cats on the internet. Everybody get him. I don't. They're fucking evil. They're evil for one. They're useless for two. Like, what? what's the point of having a cat? They're disgusting. They just vomit everywhere and expect you to do a bunch of shit. Dogs are laid back. They're like, oh, thank you for giving me food, master. Cats are like, yeah, you should you should have done it earlier, fuckface. <laughs> It's very easy to pick. Cat person, dog person, definitely dog person. I mean, I had a cat when I was little. His name was Tiger, because uh, when you're little, you're not very good at naming animals. <laughs> I had a goldfish. His name was Sharky. Basically, just the bigger version of whatever animal I had. That's, that's what the animal's name was. And I guess I thought that was clever or something. <laughs> oh, here's some more stuff. By some more stuff, I just mean dolls. Dolls and bears. What a bunch of junk. I'll eat this chocolate, though. Saw that hunger creeping up. I felt it in my tummy tum. Digital watch, soap. Oh, yeah, eat the soap, too. Fuck it. This is like a uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. It's got all the CDs and candles. You know, romantic stuff. You and your lady could have a good time. You rub her down with some of that apricot scented ocean. Lotion. Not ocean. <laughs> what the fuck? And lots of mo mojeska. Oh, it's a kubliet. You'll like this. Trust me, friend. He's from my home country. You like the kubliet? Oh, you'll like very soon. You eat enough time, you'll like. You get drunk enough, you like. <laughs> Mojeska. I guess it doesn't go bad. It's It's been sitting on this fucking shelf, so I'll grab it up. I mean, chocolate definitely does kind of go bad. It gets chalky. Like, if you let it melt and uh, reform enough times, it gets, it gets pretty gross. Not gonna lie about that. But still, I eat. It's precious in these days and times. And unfortunately, now that I am uh, in Riverside, some of the fucking buildings and stuff are starting to break down. Zombies are climbing in through the windows. But remember when I first came here a couple days ago? It was all pristine and fucking wonderful. <sighs> Humans just destroy everything we touch. That's the truth. I'm not going to wear a blouse because I'm already wearing a skirt. So if I put a blouse on, that's, gay. that's super gay. <laughs> I wonder what this building is. It is squat and brick. So it has to have something good in it, right? 
Maybe it's the police station! Because it doesn't have a fucking label on it. They're just like, here. Here is generic building. You want go in generic building? Yeah, I guess, whatever. Hmm. A bank. Almost immediately, my guess is that this is a bank. Just from the layout. I really like these new stairs, though. Make me feel so fucking high class when I'm going up it. Going up and down the stairs. Got some staples, post-it notes. Basically nothing. Office supplies. Riverside is just a town full of office supplies. If you're looking for useful shit like a gun store or a hardware store, don't come here. I don't know why I walked a fucking hour to come here. It's useless. It's terrible and useless. Oh, I'm gonna eat this whole ham. That's what I do to make myself feel better. Oh, this ham's so good. God damn it. Oh, I'm gonna be so full. So full of pig flesh. Yes, delicious pig flesh. It is really good. I don't know why it's so good. They say that uh, pigs are like the closest related animals to human or whatever. Shouldn't have told me that. Because when Zombocalypse comes, I'm I'm all over it. I'm going to be the zombie. The living zombie that you should fear. I can't even eat a lollipop. That's how, I, how much I've gorged myself on the flesh of this swine. Oh. And they're like, you proud of yourself, Dayton? I'm like, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I am. I don't know how this shit works. There's like some rooms over here that I can't seem to get to. Oh, it's around. Okay. I think I think I already went in there. This place doesn't have shit for me anyways. I'm trying to find the goods. The good goods, you know what I mean? Grocery store, gun store, something like that. So far I found a couple restaurants, but uh that ain't that ain't too impressive to me. Lots of zombies though. That's always fun. I'm gonna take some antidepressants. Those will keep me from being depressed, you see. It's quite easy to get depressed when one when one is out here on their lonesome. I get so sad. So sad. Makes me wanna cry. And then I eat a fucking giant ham and I'm like, oh, I feel better. <laughs> Food fills that hole in my heart. Hey, here's a can opener. Let me grab one. Excellent. I don't necessarily want to eat any of this stuff right now, but it is good to note. They've got a giant place. A place full of stuff. And I should really start eating these stale vegetables and stuff, because otherwise it is just going to go bad. And then it's absolutely useless, instead of just being moderately useless. However, I am a little sad now. Just a little sad. For me, all them bad, bad vegetables. Hmm. Couple more boxes of nails. MRE. What is this place? A hotel? A no-tail motel? Oh, there's a bathroom. Got some uh, bandages, painkillers, something like that. Doesn't seem so. Oh, there's some painkillers. Why not? Take a little bit more. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's nutritious. It kills my pain. I'll never feel the same again. Because I ate painkillers every day of my life. That's true. That's true, he did. I'm quite proud of that. Hmm. Got a lot of junk. A lot of junk in this here bag. Just fit the painkillers, okay? We need these. I wonder if I could drink from the pool. I should take an empty container and fill it up and see what it say about the pool. Is it is it drinkable water? Probably not. Is it is it because it's chlorinated? Maybe you could drink some chlorine. I think get rid of like little bugs and whatnot. Here's like a banquet hall or some shit. All the chairs stuffed up against the wall. What? Maybe it's a, a church. Or something. 
I don't know. I never seen a hotel with a banquet hall, but that could just be because I'm not like fancy or something. I don't really know. I just need a couple more garbage bags so I can make two rain collectors. I think they're four each, if I recall correctly. I'm not extremely interested in this building either. There's a little bit of food. I seem to have some uh, residences as well, but meh. Meh. Gotta keep moving. <laughs> Exploring. That's what we're doing today. I'm getting the lay of the land. Could just look at a map, but you know, it's a lot less fun that way. Get this fucking guy out of here. See, he's got cigarettes. Cigarettes make you dirty, kids. Just like that guy. Drop your testosterone. Make your pee-pee not get hard. Mmm. You're not gonna like it. Bring this empty bottle just so I can test the pool water. I'll feel so cool when I'm testing the pool water. Oh my god. Look at this place with a fence. Dude, that's ballin'. If I could complete that fence? Holy shit. I guess it's like a gated neighborhood or something. That's pretty fancy though. Fancy schmancy. I could wall in this house. I could, I could come to dig that. I'm just constantly looking for houses to create. Isn't that kind of silly? I have lots of houses. I was nice and safe in my base, but I'm like, who? New content! We better go fucking run to the middle of nowhere where we don't have anything. And that is why I say often, I'm just not that smart. <laughs> I make some decisions and then I go, why did I make that decision? But it's okay. Everything's okay here. We're nice and safe in the gated community. I wonder if people can hop that uh, hedge over there. How that's gonna work. Because this house is really fucking nice. And I definitely like that they have garages as well now too. It's such a great addition. And cars are probably coming at some point. Look at how fancy this is. There's a fucking fireplace. You got like this awesome ass uh, table. This fancy table. Okay, turn off this. Close these curtains. Close the other curtains. I hear something banging around in here. But I just want to rest for a second. Rest for a second. Somebody broke in. Did you hear it? I heard it. I'm gonna have to clear this. Oh god. I knew you were here. Shithead. Oh, and I fucking stabbed myself. Criminy. Jiminy Christmas. Okay. Beat this lady up. We need to uh, staunch this bleeding as soon as possible. No panic, no panic. We're fine. Here we go. Just scratch my right hand up a little bit. It happens. Probably uh, more often than I would like, but it happens. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Take these pills. Alright. We'll check out this burn as well. It's getting less and less red. I think tomorrow or the next day it should be healed up. So, I really like this house, but this house doesn't like me. I hurt myself. That's never good. Where could I find a, a frying pan? Well, first I need to fucking block off this... I can't block off this. God damn. Hmm. I could, uh... Cut up, uh... Little planks or something like that and barricade it. I guess that's the way to go about it. Do I have another wooden crate? Or... Some planks? No, I don't. Get rid of broken glass first. Make sure we attract no zombies. Oh god, just, you see that shit? What a dick. What a fucking dick. Alright, I'm just gonna bag out here. I don't really want to fight this guy in here. I thought, I thought this would be like a nice house to set up in. 
But now it's just covered in blood. <laughs> that shit sucks. Alright. Barricade. Barricade raid. It's like Gatorade, but much safer. Got some more, uh, some more somethings? I guess not. I guess that's gonna work for now. What the fuck ever. I'm going to the kitchen. Don't talk to me anymore. I keep hearing shit break around me. I don't like it. Here, close the curtains, equip the baseball bat. I just want to cook some eggs. Is that so wrong? You fucking people? Ah. There's a lady lurking outside the fence. Don't come in here. I'm gonna cook some eggs. Delicious eggs. And that carpentry's getting pretty up there. Hell yeah. I'm gonna be able to make my own baseball bat soon. How did my exertion come back up? What the fuck? I guess from nailing up the, uh, the barricades or something like that. That's a little weird. There's a couple more garbage bags. There's the lighter that I need for the Molotovs. Everything's moving right along here. I just need a, a pan. A frying pan. And then I can do some cooking. Hey, there's one. So let's open up this egg carton. And we'll fry some eggs. That's gonna be nice. Um, fry egg, boil egg. Oh! Well, let's fry an egg first. That's gonna be nice. Look at that. Fresh, uncooked. Okay, so I probably need to put it on the oven. I see what's happening here. Did they use all the butter? I guess so. I guess I gotta boil the rest of these. Fart. Fart and a half. Hard boiled egg, fresh. Okay. So these are good to eat because obviously they're cooked. They're, they're hard boiled. But I'll need to cook this fried egg up. Alright. Let's make some more of those. Make pot of soup. Oh. Do I need boiled... What the fuck? What am I missing? What am I missing? I don't understand. Oh. I just wanted to do some experimentation with eggs. I think we did a, a good amount. Let's just grab this one. I'm gonna eat it up. Oh, fresh cooked egg. Yeah. Let's go keep me nice and healthy. What a lunch. One of my favorite fucking foods ever. Eggs. Eggs. Alright. Drop this cooking pot back in. And, uh... Drop this bottle. I'll need that shit. Frying pan, goodbye! Gotta keep the inventory nice and... Nice and clean, see? Definitely need the tarp. The tarp and the tent pegs. I don't necessarily need the fucking shotgun that I have. Arm Cell Striker. Striker. He's a pretty good character in Mortal Kombat. Alright, I guess we're good here. Cooking? Yeah. Just kind of creeping up. Gonna need to cook a lot more stuff. Guess I should go check the children's rooms. Children! Oh, look at this lady. She dead. She drank herself to death. That's so sad. Empty bottle. Oh. But I guess if that's the way you gotta go, then, uh, it's not a bad way to go. All things considered. Dude, look at this action figure. It's way different than the other one. Hell yeah. Toy army man. We got toy horse. Toy ship. I could bring another army man, too. Why not? You're all coming along. So glad I went to check the children's room. Oh, they also have fucking shotgun shells. Where'd you get these, kids? Kids? Where'd you get the shotgun shells, kids? You can tell me I'm your father. I'm not gonna yell at you, I just wanna know. Where did you get these fucking shotgun shells? Nowhere, Dad! God! You're so lame. You're so lame. 
I got the shotgun too right here in my closet, see? Okay, well, um, that's probably not the best place to keep it. I'm gonna keep this in my room. No, Dad, you're just gonna play with it. <laughs> you're right, I am. I'm gonna take these 30 shells in the backyard and, uh, blow some of your action figures to pieces. Fuck yeah! Well, there's a pretty good amount of stuff in there. I'm satisfied. But my inventory just constantly gets full. There's a T-Rex. Bath sponges. Hmm. I was just hoping for uh, adhesive bandages or something like that. But it doesn't seem that that's going to happen. Not today. Farts. Oh wow, look, you got two master bathrooms with a dual sink. People fancy as fuck. And then there's like an office. The office, we got some whiteout, we've got a sheet of paper. So you know I'm working in here. Because we've got some whiteout and a sheet of paper. <laughs> and uh, here's the smaller bedroom. Where creepy cousin Ned sleeps. Is that what I said last time? Ned? You remember him. Oh shit, toy robot. Hell yeah. Fucking coming up in the world, dude. Look at all these toys. Mm. I'm gonna be like one of those YouTubers that just has all their, uh, their big virgin toy collection behind them. And they'll be like, you should listen to my opinion. And I'll be like, I shouldn't listen to your opinion because you've obviously spent thousands of dollars on those toys. <laughs> it's much cooler if you just found them. If you found those toys, then you're, you're pretty fucking awesome. If you paid money for them, I don't know if I can put my stamp of approval on that. How about you get, like, children or a wife? <laughs> How about you build a life instead of a, a cartoon collection? Just, just saying. Handy hints for life. If you want my opinion. It also depends on the age you are. I know at fucking, uh, 20 or so, early 20s, that would have probably been in my priorities as well. I mean, I still fucking buy toys or whatever. I got this Super Mario, uh, like, it's not even an action figure, really. It's just kind of a rubberized, yeah, it's a toy. Rubberized toy. Turns the head, moves the arms. That's about it. And I spent, I swear, probably fucking $15 at an arcade trying to win the fucking thing. <laughs> And $15 in an arcade is not cheap uh, in America, but when you're in the Philippines, it's especially not cheap. And I just knew, like, I spent fucking way too much money on it, but it's Mario. I fucking love Mario. That's my boy. <laughs> but I'm still not gonna uh, buy everything that he has and put it on a shelf behind me while I do my... Oh, look at this fucking stained glass window. <laughs> while I do my vlogs or whatever. It's just kind of lame, honestly. I see a lot of YouTubers do it, and every time I'm like, ugh, how cringy. <laughs> so maybe that's why you haven't seen me do it. I could. I'm sure I could find enough shit to, to get it together, but ugh. If I, if I get it together in that way, then that means I don't have it together in another way. You know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't definitely mean that, but it's definitely implied. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of zombies around here. I was just hoping for a place to, to lie down real quick. Oh, look at that. That's a burnt out house. I didn't do that one. Unless unless I was in like a fugue state, you know? They call me Walter White. I blow up the hotel. Oh, here's a Gigamart. I'm a little bit lost, so I don't know where the Gigamart is in relation to everything else, but... Hmm, it's good to know. Is it just down the street? Okay, yeah. There's the door that was all blown out, and I think I found the hinges there. And then here's Saucy. Oh no, it's a Pharma Hug. Oh, Enigma Books up that way. Pharma Hug here. Shit. How did I miss this? Damn it, Dayton. You need to get your shit together. Alright. But no, that's good. Found the, found the pharma hug. I 
don't need any more adhesive bandages. Why did I think that I did? What the fuck? Maybe I'll just have a little look through for uh, water purifying tablets. I think I found those at PharmaHug before. Hmm. They'll be on the bottom, but I don't see any here. Tongue depressors, tweezers, no sleeping tablets. Doesn't seem I'm having much luck with that. Anybody back here? Better not be anybody back here. I'll fucking do you. I'll fucking do you, bro. Shotgun shells. What's the difference between shotgun shells and uh, double out buck 12 gauge shells? They, they both go in a shotgun, don't they? Maybe? I'm not sure. I've got enough of these uh, other shells. It's not an emergency. Not yet, anyways. Is this like for uh, inspecting the patients or whatever? It's kind of creepy. Get a little jo uh, a little, a little bit of gum. Oh man! I know they keep the good meds back there. I'm getting in there. If this is a fucking game, well it is. But I'm still getting in there. I think the last time I did this, I uh, ended up extremely disappointed with what I found in there, but... Second time's the charm, maybe. Let's get this shit done. Hit and run, get it done. I got about 50 guns. That's true. <laughs> and I love all of them the same. Bang, bang. Alright, a couple more door hinges. We can build two doors now. Sweet. And yeah, much as I suspected, not much here to write home about. But oh well, at least we know. At least I won't have to go to bed wondering. Hmm. Canned soup. I guess I should just eat this. I'll eat the fucking thing. Gets rid of some dehydration too. Maybe? I don't know. I thought I heard my character making some weird noises, though. Drink all. So is it... Is it hunger or de dehydration? We'll find out, I guess. What the fuck? Yeah, it's just hunger. Well, that's stupid. Maybe because it's too salty. It's just too salty. Um... Surely there's something here. Mustard? Does that get rid of dehydration? I'm gonna eat this ice cream. Delicious ice cream. Or oh, lemonade juice box. Oh, I can't. I can't drink the lemonade. Wee. That's so unfair. Okay, my inventory is getting pretty fucking full now. Uh, I could probably fit those wood crates in the doctor bag. They call me Doctor Bag. That's a stupid name. <laughs> Yep, but it's on my, my med school certificate, so there's no going back now. Oh, I also want to go baseball bat. Go baseball bat! Stick this axe somewhere. I'll tell you where you can stick it. I'll tell you where. You probably already know where. I probably don't even have to tell you. Hmm. They got like a jeweler's... Jewelry shop. Let's let's go have a look at the front. So I'm not just wandering around buildings trying to guess. That's quite nice. Was that Mo Mama Mc McFudgingtons? Mama McFudgingtons. And Lola Lemon. <laughs> Lola Limon. Copyright. It's a reference to Lululemon, which are those fucking piss ugly leggings that I see women just going ape shit for. Because they're like, eh, I like to look ugly. Somebody told me this was popular. Oh, God. I don't know why. I don't know why you do this to yourself or those around you. But I regret everything. Everything I ever knew was a lie. Now, let's see if we can drink from this pool or what's going to happen. Fill up an empty bottle. Mm-hmm. It's poison. 
sterilized by boiling in an oven or over a fire. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do that. I just pour it on the ground. Empty. Well enough. Well enough. Well, at least we know for sure. I'll have to build some water collectors. Which, uh, I did get quite a few garbage bags and some planks and stuff. So maybe I could just do that real quick. At least one. But I mean, is it really that different? No, it's fucking pointless. We shouldn't build the garbage co or the rain collectors because, yeah, we'll just be collecting the same garbage. It's tainted water, one way or the other. So it's just like, I have a giant fucking rain collector in my front yard. Which is kind of cool. I guess, I'll take that. Uh, tin can, you can go here. Got a bunch of eggs. Hmm. What else could I stash in here? Wooden crates. Eat these tent pegs. Jars with lids can go here. I don't even know how I'm going to uh, carry any of this shit back. It's not, it's not going to be fun. Sorting. Sorting and deciding what is important and what is not. Because to me, it's all important. Especially the toys. <laughs> I know I had a big rant earlier about how it's just immature and stupid and gay, but it's important to me. Um, let's put this action figure... Yeah, so they are different, these two action figures. So I'm going to end up grabbing all the action figures that I see. All the action figures. I should get a drink probably too. Y'all got like a bathroom or something here? I drink from the bathroom sink. I ain't too proud. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, room next door, for letting me borrow your ice bucket. Ah, <laughs> uh, y'all know about that. Y'all know about that? Borrowing an ice bucket? You're like, hey, can I borrow your ice bucket? And then I get the fuck out of here. I don't know you. Nobody ever says that. They're always like, who uses the ice bucket? Here you go, weirdo. <laughs> And then they go tell their, their wife or girlfriend or roommate or what have you. This guy wanted to borrow a fucking ice bucket. What a freak. What a freak! Can't believe he'd ask you for that. He's like having a social interaction. What a freak. <laughs> Chop down all these, these here trees and whatnot. Let's see if I can close in. Um, at least a little bit. I'd like to build a little wall across here, because I got a couple of, uh, a couple of hinges. I can make two doors at least. And then there's also this fucking wall of glass, which makes me curious. I don't know how, how I could secure that, but I think I probably should. Hmm. If they get in here, is there is there a way around? Exhausted, can barely move. Well, I'm sorry, little Dayton, okay? Shit happens. They'd have to break through a lot of doors to, to get to the courtyard. But yeah, I still think I should just kind of barricade this up as much as possible. That would be a good idea. Eh, eh we'll figure it out. We'll do it at some point. My little guy's getting very tired, and I abused him a couple episodes ago getting to Riverside, so I'll let him have a nice sleep. We'll wake up nice and early in the a.m., do this whole fucking thing again. Probably cook up some fried eggs, too. Or boiled eggs. Or whatever the fuck eggs. Delicious eggs. That's how it goes. Anyways, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you are enjoying Riverside. There's lots of uh, new stuff to see here, and it's super, super exciting. We've got even more stores to explore, and uh, we'll also get some construction going in the next episode. So I hope that you'll join me for it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. It helps the channel to get out there, which is uber, uber important, uh, because I'm looking to grow. And I thank you guys for helping me grow this far. But let's take it even further, all right? All right. <laughs> so once again... This has been Project Zomboid, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I will see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye 
One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.